Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to do just kind of a quick review for you guys on the Vankio V600 projector. Um, I hadn't seen too many reviews on this, so I thought I'd just kind of give you guys my two cents. Just kind of based on my experience and let you know what I thought about it. Um, I should mention real quick too, I found a pretty good deal on this projector. I'll put a link below in the description so you can check that out if you're interested in picking one up. One thing to note about that, make sure you check the coupon box below the price to get the deal. Anyway, uh, so what do I think of this thing? Uh, to be honest with you, I was amazed at this thing. I cannot believe that they make projectors of this good a quality and picture quality for this amount of money. Now, I'm coming from, just to give you a little my my background, what I, the last projector I had was a Sony VPL 4000, I believe it was. Anyway, I bought it about seven years ago. It cost me about $4,000. This thing blows that away in terms of picture quality goes, and I cannot believe that, that this thing costs literally less than 10% of the cost of that thing, and it's that good a quality. It's just a testament to how far technology has come in the last five, six years that you can get a projector of this quality for this price. It has 5,000 lux of brightness. Um, that's a lot. That is a lot of brightness. You can. That's the thing, too. With my old Sony, um, you couldn't watch TV really during the day. It would wash out way too much. This, no problem. This will, you can watch in the middle of the day and it you can see it just like a regular television set and that's just if you're watching it <clears throat> on a light colored wall if you actually put a reflective screen that you're watching it on it's too bright almost uh, at night you have to you have to turn it down because it's that bright and that vivid 5000 to 1 contrast ratio that's nice because you get really deep blacks a lot of these projectors had problems with it uh, problems with making uh, blacks look black just because the contrast ratios couldn't get so low. Well, they can do that now. Uh, 5000 to 1 is a lot. This can absolutely be used for movies, for video games. It's not just for office applications. They kind of tend to advertise it as an office thing. Um, I'm not quite sure why that is, but this is I, I don't even use it for that. I use it just for movies and video games, and I was blown away by the quality. Um, this will shoot up to a 300-inch screen, which is quite large. I don't know whose home could even absorb that, but two HDMI ports, um, full 1080, LCD display. Uh, in other words, it's, it's an LCD projector, which, in my opinion, are the best. Manual keystoning, so you can dial it in exactly how you want to get it. Manual focus as well. And it does have a built-in speaker if you're not running this to a home theater system, which is kind of nice. However, the speaker is nothing to write home about, that's for sure. But I would imagine that most people uh, will be hooking this up to a home theater system. But anyway, like I said, this is honestly mind-blowing that you can get a projector of this quality for this price. Um, yeah, anyway, if you have any more questions on it, just leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.